We've been through our summer transfers. We've moved some players out. We've moved a whole bunch of players in and we're ready for two huge games to kick off life here in Syria against our old foes Cagliari from Syria B and a ship, the SS Lazio. Welcome back to Project Plomo, folks. I am your old mate, DP, and we are in the DP Dome with our beloved Pink Panthers, Palomo. They're not Panthers, they're birds. We've talked about this already. And here we are. We're in 13th place in Syria, only because we haven't played yet, and that's fine. Hegliari have played once. We're going to play them first up. These are the mob that beat us by 11 points for the Syria B title that we were never, ever in a race for. So they didn't really beat us. They just kind of ran away with it. But we had a late charge. We are predicted this season, according to our beloved media who don't know a thing, to finish 18th now in the relegation positions. Brilliant. Uh, that could be an issue. We were 17th all the way through the transfer window. If you missed that, we have done a whole heap of business. Go and check out the last episode. Uh, we've moved some players on. Abdulgard is gone. Karasoni is gone. Awusi is out on loan. Jadira is gone for £1.3 million. Pounds. Bataro has left on loan and Zukon has left on loan along with Vere. These two, Vere uh, is on loan because he, I'm just sick of him. I don't want him. Uh, Bataro went on loan and Zukon because we couldn't register them in our Syria squad. They could have played in the Cups, but that's just not enough football. It does mean we don't lose Bataro permanently, which is good because I did intend to use him. I'm still dirty on it. Let's just move on. We haven't really done any more business, just more rubbish plays that our director of football wanted to bring in. But we do have a transfer in progress, hopefully. Excuse the jump cut there. Bit of a sneezing fit. Antonio Gallo is a player who, despite how awesome all of that looks, is trained at Palermo. And that's part of the issue we had with squad registration. We didn't have, play, have enough players who were. The transfer fee is ludicrous. 10.75 million. In total, 2.2 million up front. The rest in crazy clauses and everything else. Anything I could do to try and get the deal over the line. Uh, it also include Vere and uh, Zucon. And that deal is in progress, but the other two have gone out on loan. So if they can agree terms, we might get him. If not, I'll have to come up with a plan B. But I would love to get him in because, as you just saw briefly, he looks excellent. He's like a four-star player easily for left back. Great replacement. And... I'd love to bring him in, and he helps out with squad registration, doesn't uh, break that. So that would be great. Otherwise, we are going to jump in and play against Pagliari. I haven't picked a squad for this match yet because I'm a crazy person. Let me just have a look at what we've done here. Yes, I'm happy with all of that. Everybody's happy. So let's go through the squad. Ravaglia, our new goalkeeper. Uh, he's not a replacement for Fructal. He's back up at best. He wants to be a sweeper keeper. I'll fix that in a second. He looks all right. He came in during the summer from Bologna and he'll be fine as a backup. No real dramas there, but he wants to be a sweeper keeper. So we'll keep him pleased. There we go. We'll, we'll sweep the keep and keep him happy. It's a lot of keeping. Uh, Dal, Nicolau, Mercandali and Perozzi at the back. Mercandali's coming into the squad because he's three and a half star. It's got four and a half star potential. Looks the business. Want him to develop. He's 24 years old. If we can fill up those stars with a bit of playing time. I am all for it. Blin and Ranokia. Ranokia still here into the squad because Segre picked up a knock, I believe, or is injured or something. Nope, he's fine. Just because then. Fair enough. And then we've got Chiquinho, our new left winger, who is the replacement for Marrera, who's gone back to Manchester City and they're going to actually use him, which is a bit sad because he was brilliant. Uh, he's in at left wing. Then Salcedo gets a nod because he's wanting more playing time, so I've made him a bit of a promise to keep him happy. We've got Valpato and Brunori up front. Let's submit the team, and we will get into the game. Click on go to match. Everybody looks pretty happy there. I just had a cough. My body's given up on me. It's a disaster. Into the dressing room, do a bit of a team talk. Let's pump the fist and support. We make full use of home advantage. We are not expected to win this game. Cagliari are a really good side. They won a game like 7-0 in one of their first two matches of the season. It was mental. I can't get over, I don't know if it's the pink shirts, <clears throat> excuse me, or if it's the fact that the ground in real life is surrounded by, by mountains, but the colors are crazy. I've just had to clear my throat again. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's get into the game. We've got the football, lovely stuff. Here's Blin over to Runa Kia, plays it out 
Gianluigi Perozzi. If you missed the transfer special, which was last episode, A, what's wrong with you? B, you missed us winning in the first round of the Copa Italia. So we're off to a winning start already this season, which was quite nice. It was a good result. And a couple of the new boys getting involved. Well, Pauto had an excellent game. We brought him in last year, if you recall. My Australian friend. And he had an amazing game. Contributed to three goals. Scored one himself. Had a marvellous time. And was robbed of another goal. He went down as an own, an only, an own goal. But it was absolutely his. Took a minor deflection and counted against him. And I just think that was horrifically unfair. Nevertheless, at the moment... We're struggling for possession. We've had more shots and we've got a better XG than Cagliari. We're just not completing our passes. And they're playing this horrible, horrible flat back seven type deal with wing backs, which I find disturbing. It's a little bit gross. There's a new boy, Mercandelli, getting the ball away. Love to see it. Nicolau now collects, plays it in, looking for Salcedo, who's come very deep, which I don't hate for an attacking midfielder. He's trying to find the space, make himself useful. Dahl now, on the left, back inside to Salcedo, plays it across to Ranokia. We find Chiquinho, he's in, and Chiquinho has scored his first goal for Palermo, and it's our first goal in Serie A. That's right, we're in the top division in Italy. I forgot to mention that, kind of important. I probably haven't mentioned it in the intro, I suspect. That was minutes ago. How am I supposed to remember all these things? But Chiquinho here with a great run in, drags the keeper out, has his shot, puts it into the side leading, and that is lovely. And yes, I've got the boys up to celebrate, because why not? We love our toots. If you'd like to see more of the toots, come and join us on stream over on Twitch for Deadpool FC, a custom club we created in FM24. We've just been promoted to the Vanarama National League North, and we're expected to make the playoffs, which is ridiculous because we've got no money and our squad is rubbish. So it's going to be really, really interesting. We did, however, win our first game of the season in the last stream. So get on over there. Drop a follow on the old Twitchy Poos and check it out. If you're not into Twitch, just stay here and watch all of Project Palomo all over again. Full playlist is available. You can watch individual episodes. And if you'd like to get an idea of how Project Palomo came about, you can go back and watch a whole bunch of full streams from the first ever Wizard of Oz that took place with FM23. Didn't do it for FM24. It will be back for FM25, you can bet your sweet little bippy. That was a ridiculous goal, and I'm quite perturbed by it. Tagliari just shooting from the edge of the area. Rivaglia couldn't get there. It was a peach of a strike. It was a lovely shot. Here he is, a couple of touches, and it. <clears throat> I suspect Rivaglia could have done a bit better there, but regardless, it was just a really, really good shot. I forgot to mention, there'll be another match after this one. I can't remember who we play after Cagliari, which is why I haven't uh, made that abundantly clear. Here's Bl uh, Brunori, not Brunori. Brunori taking a free kick. His isn't as good as the last guy's strike, and that's going over the crossbar. A little bit too high. Uh, it's just about change clock, and we've got some things we can sort out here. Mercandale's got a yellow card, so he can come off for Valukovic, because I like Lukewicks. He's a good egg. Uh, Blin can come off and we'll give uh, Segre a run down there. Can we swap these guys over? Does that work better? It certainly does. And then in the midfield, Sasada so hasn't really done it for me today, so I'm going to throw on Vasic and that will do for now. Brunori hasn't really impressed me either, to be honest, but we'll see if having Vasic up there makes a difference because I believe they've got some fancy pants lines hooking each other up helping each other out, having a connection, they're vibing, they're vibing hard. Vasic into Valu, over to Valpardo, plays it through, Benori's there, and Benori's scoring, giving us the lead back. Oh, questions of offside, I don't think he was, it was a great pass. Don't be a monster, VAR. Pay the goal. Oh, rubbish. Absolute rubbish. It was a goal all day. Let's have another look at this. I mean... Yeah, all right, all right, that's fair. Didn't look at though. Did not look at. We wait until this passage of play is done, but we've given the ball away cheaply there. This guy, Azoki, this guy is in. I shouldn't have said his name. That was a disaster. Oh, if he passed from Dahl, but we've got away with it. Just about. Perotti's not having a good game on a 6.4, so we may need to change the right back shortly. And that's a good ball. Here's Valpato picking it up deep. 
Phase it through. Finds your candy out at the highlight ends, which is disappointing. I was hoping to get a bit more out of that, which is why I started calling it like we're all watching a football game. But mm, no. I mean, why do I not have another right back? That seems like a bit of an oversight. Just quietly. They're saying I should throw Ratnik on. He can play there. He's not great. And he wants to be an inverted fullback, which I'm not in favour of, but bugger it. Uh, complete win back on support. That works for me. Just do that. And then in terms of other changes, I've got Dal there. He's not having a great game. So, and striker wise, all I've really got is young Digiani or Moscone, which is not ideal. Yeah, Moscone's coming on for Brunori. Brunori's on a 6.5. Not good enough. On a 6.5 at the 70th minute, you don't get to finish the match. That's how that works. New rule. New rule, unless it's a huge game. I will take a point in this one. I'm not going to be disappointed. Although, we have had enough chances to pull a win out of the bag in this one. So, mm, still positive signs. They've got a free kick here, and this is a worry because nobody's marking these two clowns. And you know the ball's going there. We can all see it, what's about to happen. He's just going to dink it. There you go. And have a shot, and that's a goal. If I can see it, and I'm not in the game, then the players should have seen that. And that's a complete failing of the set, set piece coach, I think. Why would you not mark anybody over here? Why would you just leave that open? That makes absolutely no sense. We're going attacking for the last minute. As a disappointing loss, we don't deserve it. We've been the better team, and we've been FM'd here. Hardcore. But we gave them a good run for their money. And Revaglia, look. Well below the required standard, as was Pirozzi. You let yourself down. Anybody else? Lynn wasn't great. And Brunori, you weren't at your best. Chiquinho and Ranakia tried to do their part, but it just didn't happen for us. Right. Let's just have a look. Uh, it's Lazio. Next. I remember now. Ship. We've got to play the SS Lazio. That seems unfair. I don't have a ship at all. So we're not quite ready for the Lazio game, but I wanted to give you an idea of what we're dealing with up here in Syria. This is not the first ridiculous result we've seen. 7-1 Inter over Hellas Verona. Hellas Verona are not having a great time so far. But there's a 7-1 result there, 5-2 there, 4-0 there. There's some other big ones, 5-2 for Inter. Uh, some other results, 8-0 for Cagliari over uh, Genoa. 7-0 for Roma over Hellas Verona. So I'm looking forward to playing Hellas Verona for sure. Three games played, minus 14 goal difference. Lovely stuff. Also, our decision's been made a little bit easier in that attacking midfield area as Salzado's picked up a knock and is going to be out for a couple of weeks. So Vasic is going to come back into the team for us to help us out there. We're just trying to bring in a new scout because we've got an opening. Let's bring in Ibrahim Bar. Why not? I like his name and he can do the job. Boom. That's all sorted, even though Kapue wants a job. Well, Kapue, you're going to have to Kapue somewhere else because I want bah. Bah, 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 bah. Right, let's get to the match. Our team to face the SS Lazio. Fructal is back in goal. He's fit again. Want him straight back into the team. Dale Nicolau, Mercandali and Perotti in the back line. No complaints there. Blin and Ranokia are going to be our midfield. I just wanted to try out Ranokia again. Why not? Archikinho, Vasic in for the injured Salcedo. Volpato on the right and Brunori up front we want a better performance from our attackers that is for sure we need them to finish i've also added to the screening uh screening to the training schedule some community outreach and some team bonding sessions just to try and get everybody gelled a little bit quicker i don't think it's cheating to do that it's an option it's available in game you do that in real life try to get everybody on the same wavelength and whatnot so yeah, they can go to some hospitals, give some toys to kids, and then the next day, during the week, they can go and race some go-karts or play mini golf and have a great time. But Latio are on the attack here. They've been in form. They're much higher up the league than us. They've scored a lot of goals, and they're about to score another one there, and that is really disappointing. It's an own goal for Alexis Blin. Not the start we wanted after 34 seconds. This was just a bit of a shambles. Blin gets goal side and then just lets his man go. 
And is that one Kia? No, Chikina not picking up this guy properly. Loving him three for an open shot on goal. Hence the need to gel a little bit more. Hmm, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Plenty of time. We've got time to get back into this, hopefully. Hopefully. And here we go. Here's an opportunity. Ball from Nicola to Mercandali. Out onto the right-hand side with Perozzi to Corpato, who was mobbed by defenders. At least to find some space, but couldn't. Lays it back. Mercandali with the ball now to Nicola. We're back where we started. And here's Dahl into Vasic, trying to play it through for Chiquinho. He's tackled, but now he's got the ball and shoots. It's an easy take for the keeper, but a good passage of play. Some tricky little, little passing manoeuvres there, and I like that. Just little one-twos and back and forths, continuing the run. Free-flowing attacking football is what we're all about. Love it. Anybody wide open that shouldn't be? Yes, right there. Awful. Just awful. And we're in the spot of bother. I know I've stopped talking. I'm just in shock. We haven't had this happen to us for a long time. I've forgotten what it's like to lose. But I fear we're about to remember. There's no point going attacking at this point. I'm going to berate them. Come on. Get your acts together. Papato having a shocker. Chiquinho. Blin. Nicolau. Just hasn't really clicked. I'm trying to give the ball away cheaply there, which I'm not enjoying and now we have done and they're just flooding forwards in numbers forwards forwards words are really hard oh that's a let off i've hit the break hopefully it wakes everybody up no response fantastic i thought that was going on they probably still want to score here oh what is that that's a free kick for us can we just get to half time and minimise the damage between now and then, please? The own goal did not get us off to a good start. You've been terrible. Sort it out. Some of you, I've got a couple of minutes, like Blin, like Volpardo, like uh, Chiquinho. We're changing all the personnel. That is an amazing shot from Benori to get that on target from that range and force a save from the keeper. We've got a corner. We should be good from set pieces. We've got decent sized centre backs nowadays. There's a good ball in. Nicola was there at the far post. Basic just stopped running low and chasing. I'm going to throw in, but we don't get a highlight for our efforts. I'm going to hit encourage again. But Partey's down to a 6.2. He might not have been ready for the step up, you know. Do I want CD or Marcel? Well, Marcel scored a ton of goals in his last inning. What do you want to be on the right hand side? An inverted winger on support. Again, I don't have this set up in advance, but we'll get that going who else has been awful blin again just not showing up I'll swap those guys over again and still don't have a right back but we're training ratnik to do it and you know what he's going to get some game time there we'll give it a shot confirm those changes and we'll give that 10 15 minutes to see if it makes any kind of difference and i think we will go attacking there's no point sitting back at this point I don't want to get absolutely battered which we're going to I remember one now on the previous save I suspect did he stray offside? I think he did ref in like the last game no rubbish we're always getting the offside calls wrong clearly oh. this is poor this is really poor. Can we at least get a consolation goal? Let's get something out of this game. Give me something to smile about. Because I'm not enjoying this one. I like enjoying my football, but this isn't fun. This sucks. So great now. We're just stuck over this right-hand side. To Ratnik, he really doesn't know what he's doing out on that right-hand side. He's making that abundantly clear. And now Lazio looking to hit us on the counter. They just camped out on our halfway line. They're attacking players. There's not a lot we can do about it, but we want it back now. Masao having a run, finds Segre over to Benori. Back to Segre. Vasic finds a little pocket of space to work in. Tries to hit it long, but fails miserably. And now it's a three on two break. And we are potentially in a world of hurt. They've just got to cross at centre. We do. And we've just numbers flooding forward. And there's nothing we can do about it. It is not ideal. We need to get you back to here. Move you over and just try to stop the bleeding. All we can really do. I'm going to make a couple more changes because 
we may as well. Nothing's working, so who cares? But we're going to stay positive. It's early days in the season. It's my story, and uh, I'm sticking to it. I, I don't know what else to do. Vasic can stay there. It's absolutely fine. What about Masala? Are you any better in there? Not really. We could go there, and we could swap you guys over. That'll work. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. And then for my final trick, Blackwitz can come on for Mercandale because I don't want to ruin the poor boy's confidence entirely. And that's all our changes with 20 minutes to go. Just encourage the lads. Try to keep them smiling, keep them morale up. Renori now with a chance. There's an effort that goes wide. Is there anyone worth his salt today? Well, disappointing result. Bit of a mixed bag. Well, not even a mixed bag. It's two losses on the bounce. Not the start we were after. And, oh, great save from Fructal. Because that should have been a certain goal at 4-0 down. We might just drop back to positive, I think. Attacking is a bit silly and it's cost us dearly. Get this ball out of the area. There we go. Go yourself, Minori. Just run. Just run. Here's Saidi. Pulling out wide. We've got a bit of a counter-attack going. But look at the numbers they've got flooding back into the fence. Why can't we do that? Because my tactic's wrong. Tactic is wrong. We can't play with the two asymmetrical midfielders in this league. That's been made abundantly clear today. We need more bodies in the centre of the park because they've just been able to play around our central players. So I'm going to have a bit of tactical work to do after this game and before the next match. Not an ideal result, but at least we've got our bearings. This is not going to be a cakewalk. I'm not happy with their performance. I'm not even going to tell them, like, ah, oh, we were the underdogs. Like, no, you were awful. Furious with a 6.1. You let yourself down. We're just going to chip everybody. Absolutely everybody. Renekia, well below the required standard. Nicolau, expect better from you. Just, just not good. Not good. That was not a fun adventure. And look at that. We're still only in 17th. We're not as bad as Hellas Verona, Genoa, or Parma. So we've got that going for us, but we've definitely got a little bit of work to do. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. It's going to be fine still. It's not great. But if we look at the schedule, we might jump ahead a little bit here. We'll just sort that out so it'll show the dates. What are some interesting games? We played Brescia a lot last season. I do want to get some games under our belt, if at all possible. Uh, so we might come back here. Oh, that's a good one. Roma and Inter. Come and watch us get battered by Roma and Inter. Two really good teams. The transfer window will close in the meantime, so we'll be able to keep you updated with any more shenanigans and see if we get Old Mate in, Antonio Gallo, and also... I suspect, have a look at a brand new tactic. But until then, if you've enjoyed watching us get a baptism of fire here in Syria, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode. Don't forget to check out Twitch and uh, Deadpool FC because it's awesome. And until the next episode, say hi to your mum for me and be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught. Come on,